Hey, good morning everyone. Morning, morning, morning. God is good all the time, all the time. God is good. God is the greatest all the time, all the time. God is the greatest. I have not done this in a while. Like, I, I can't even believe it. This has been, I'm sure, like about two months or a month and close to two months. But, you know, there is never the time like the right time. And sometimes you kind of have to pause and meditate and think carefully on a lot of things that goes on in our lives. You know, because sometimes we get so bogged down by the hustle and the bustle and the challenges of life and the distractions in life. Sometimes it's not even so much challenges, but just distractions, you know, be good distractions or bad distractions. But we get we get a little bogged down by it. But I just want to wish everyone a wonderful uh, post emancipation uh, pre independence. I know that a lot of Jamaicans believe that we really are not independent because of especially our financial status or social status or economic status, you know, or spiritual status, whatever status it is that we are truly not independent. That's, what, that's the belief of a lot of Jamaicans and persons outside of Jamaica. But we have accomplished much. If we check our history from where we're coming, there's a lot we have accomplished economically, socially, mentally, spiritually. We have um, accomplished much. We have broken down the, the, the gates of apartheid in many areas. Yes, we're still struggling. Yes, there are many things that we need to deal with. A lot of issues that persons face, especially with skin color issues and financial issues and uh, all of that. Hey, Rosie. Thank you, darling. So... Um, in spite of all of that, we have accomplished great and we have to give God thanks for what we have accomplished and where we're heading. All right. Because great is he that is in us and he that is in the world. So I'm wishing everyone a beautiful day, post emancipation, happy post emancipation, happy pre pre independence. All right. And true emancipation and independence comes with our thinking where your mind is set your things set your mind on things above things that are good things that are just things that are honest things that are of a good report and people me i beg you know try enjoy the little time now you know if you make everything bug it bug you down in enough to make all your troubles and your trials always distract you you can't evade challenges you can't evade trials and tribulations and troubles and because you know you can't evade it you know make no sense you sit down and mope and grow and gripe and groan i am not saying this frivolously and i'm not saying this to to kind of be nonchalant with the diff different things that you may be facing all of us we're facing our challenges and i'm not saying to be nonchalant and pretend as if it is not there no that's not what i'm saying but there's a saying i heard my pastor preach once he said if you're afraid you're dead if you're not afraid you're dead same way but guess what one i got to take a fast and at a grave since all of us will not ex escape life alive might as well we just be merry and enjoy i mean really just might as well you know you put things in priority in perspective you know, there's a time for this, a time to weep, a time to mourn, but a time to be happy. We need to rejoice. A merry heart is like medicine, people. A merry heart is like medicine. You want to eliminate or as much as possible reduce the number of times that you visit the doctor. I would not talk about if you're doing an executive profile for some particular reason or just doing a usual checkup. But you have to eliminate it. It starts with your mind. Whatever the mind thinks, whether it's good or bad, whatever, it, it will achieve that, whether good or bad. You follow what I'm saying? So I'm encouraging us in spite of it. I, we know all the mayhem that we're going through, the crime, the violence, the abuse, especially among children and women. And ladies, I, I, let, a point of no, let me digress a bit. I want you to always put yourself in a position i'm not saying that all the time it will happen allow men and even women to respect you put yourself in that position don't compromise especially in a lot of things and don't degrade yourself don't allow yourself to be you know treated as a, any old beaten up like a piece of old lint or a bottle cork no you're more important you're special you're priceless your princesses and your queens you know I mean, we all have our differences, we all have our tendencies, we all have our, our idiosyncrasies. But in spite of all of that, just hold your head up high. Um, 
don't think in fear i'm not saying that you think like you're better than or superior to others but have a positive mindset about yourself you are special there's a reason why you are here you contribute whether it is to your mother whether it is to your father whether it's to your child or your children somebody values you somebody is important to you i remember i was speaking with this particular individual she and somebody had a little issue and uh, she said she was just going to kind of put the person aside. And she said that um, the person said, I know you with malice me now, but because you are important to me, me make sure so I have to keep this friendship. I was so moved. I was so moved because I'm just showing you how important you are to somebody. You are loved. There's more, there are more persons for you than those against you. I'm telling you that. So I'm encouraging us. Have a great post-emancipation week a pre-independence and a post-independence keep your mindset on things above be positive think positively about yourself you are important you are special i'm not just saying this it is serious we have too many things bugging us down too many challenges and trembling that we have to fight otherwise and then we go add more pressure upon it by just thinking negative 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 it comes out on you physically you know it comes out on you physically. I'm saying this to you and, and, and I'm encouraging myself because I know it is not easy at times. Sometimes we sleep and we get, you know, caught up in all of that hustle and bustle and challenge and we're going the most way and we understand that. But just get back into perspective. Get, get back into who you know you're created to be. If you don't know, say, God, I need to know who I'm created to be. And let me tell you, whatever it is that you want to do, go after it. Do what you are called to do. When you think, especially for World Games coming up now, I want to sit down and you watch all the athletes. Not only my favorite, you're saying. Well, yes, you can watch him. But watch all the athletes and see even the person who is coming dead last. Even the person who is, you know, probably don't even make it to the semifinals or finals. They're doing what they love. Yes, the training is hard and difficult, but they're doing what they love. So I'm encouraging you to do the same. Let it inspire you. Let it motivate you. And let us enjoy, you know, and bring back some little niceness to Jamaica. Because Jamaica nice, you know, in spite of all of that, Jamaica nice. Think about it, people. I remember I was traveling. Like, I, I travel a lot, you know, especially to the United States. And I remember my sister was living in a particular neighborhood. And nobody no chat to, nobody, no neighbor, no governor, nobody else, not, not. And the place quiet. I remember I was going to one state, so I took the Greyhound bus or whatever bus it was. And nobody, it's like, no, you know, so that can't happen in one Jamaican bus. Nobody not chat. Like, really? Unless the person are loading on the bus and the bus are scanty and you just went from a short distance to the other. Like a long journey, like, and nobody not chat. Nothing but fun. Eh, eh. No, so Jamaica nice. Believe it or not, we now see some. They, I mean, we will strike up a conversation with each other. We'll you see something we laugh. We, you know, you don't even have to know each other because that that is our spirit. That is our culture. That's who we are as a people. So just let us write down all of the positives and or think on it. Jamaica nice. You know what I'm saying? That's why you have a lot of expatriates and all of these people coming back. When they think about it, you know what I mean? It's like a, it's like a boomerang effect. You know, it's like a cycle it goes around and comes back around. And you realize that your country is beautiful. It's nice. You know what I mean? And you need to take a tour of Jamaica. You know, when I was younger, people feel so just, you know, when you're enjoying, you can't vacation in your own country. Or you can't enjoy your own country. You can. You can. It's a beautiful country. You know what I'm saying? So in spite of all of that we're facing... There are also great things that we can rejoice in. There are many, many good things that we can rejoice in and look forward to. So I'm encouraging you to have a, an excellent post-emancipation, an excellent pre-independence, independence, post-independence. We have accomplished many things based on what history had said and where we are now. In spite of all the challenges, we have accomplished a, a whole heap of other things. Some things when you see your people, you have to go through. If you make it in a life, the things that they had to do. I remember somebody was saying to me that they didn't use nappy um, in, when they were kids. We, they used to use uh, crocus bag and plastic bag and all them sort of something there. Most persons probably had tank. There was no TV. There was no technology. You know, um, fashion and you know what I mean? Just a whole global village that we have. And I'm not saying that's the only thing. I'm just talking about or, or even remember, I, well, for me. When I was a little younger, I mean, not old enough, but you know what I'm trying to say. Um, 
when you think of um, being able to see somebody who, of pro, um, prominence and popular, who, who is very popular, is like, it's almost like one in a million. No, I mean, you, anybody is just like anybody. No, you can't see any superstar, anybody, because, you know, it's a global village. You know, everybody comes here. People see this person, see people see that person. It wasn't like that before. You know what I mean? And I'm saying to you that we have accomplished a lot of things in many ways, even economically, even in spite of the fact that it is difficult. Yes, we still have accomplished great things. Things. So let's rejoice on those things. I'm not saying negate the, uh, you know, and to be foolish and to put aside the, all the, the bad things or whatever it is. But you put it into perspective. Don't allow it to bug you down and to control you. You have to eliminate all these illnesses and diseases. That's a, re that's a re There's a reason why it says the uh, merry heart is like medicine. It's not a joke. It's not a joke. Sometimes doctors can't diagnose why some person have this illness or why because it's stress related and your mind is a feet bump, pure negativity, negativity, negativity. Ne no, come on. We have to enjoy our land. We have to enjoy Jamaica. I try my best. You know what I mean? I have my trials and tribulations in our people. But I have to put things into perspective. And I've made a decision to try and enjoy my country. Jamaica. Jam down with say. Zaymaka or whatever you want near back then. All right, so my beautiful, 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 handsome, 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 handsome people. Yes, my uh, handsome men out there as well. Love you all, and I wish you all a wonderful week, a wonderful 2017 and beyond. May it be your best year yet, and may the other year be your best year yet even. All right, so have a beautiful day. Have a great, great week. Be blessed. Have a good one.